Okay, we are going to show you how to do almost like a faux Dutch braid um, in Eloise's hair. Right now, I'm splitting it off into a small section on top because we're just doing some down the middle of her head and I'm gonna wrap it around her ponytail. I'm going to start by grabbing a small section um, of the part I sectioned out and put in a small elastic. Okay, now I am doing a second small section and putting a small elastic in there. Now that we have two sections, I'm going to take that first one and split it into two smaller pieces. a little bit difficult because she has bangs but it will hold that so she is going to participate in this hairstyle by holding each piece of hair I put in front of her face um, now I'm taking those two small pieces from the first elastic and I'm grabbing a section of the hair that isn't in an elastic yet combining it with those two split pieces and putting in another clear elastic Okay, now you can see that that two little pieces are going around the piece Eloise is holding in her hand. And I'm just going to, um, I kind of been puffing out those tiny little pieces to make it a little bit more noticeable. And then I'm going to repeat that same, oh, say hello to Banks, our cat. Um, <laughs> I am going to repeat that process um, by taking the, first piece of hair splitting it into two as you can see and she's going to hold that center piece again I'm going to grab some that is yet to be put into a small elastic combine it with those two split pieces and put in the elastic now you can really see how that's starting to look like a dutch braid i am going to continue this process all the way down this center area of her hair that we've sectioned off um what i'm doing right now actually is grabbing my straightener um because you'll notice it more once i keep going but part of her bangs are sticking up and i'm going to use my straightener to really curl that piece in to blend in with the rest of her little bubble there and then I will use a bobby pin to secure it once I'm done um kind of an extra step probably could just do the bobby pin but that is what I'm doing here so I will keep going all the way down her pony um and then we'll kind of fast forward through that so you can see it when it's complete and you'll see her continue to help me by holding that piece I'm not using at the moment out of my way because uh, it can get kind of tricky if, if they don't want to participate in this part.
Okay, so now I'm going to put her hair in a bun. I'm going to do the same method that I did in my bun tutorial video where I put it up pretty high. Um, I used an elastic or two to secure the ponytail. And the final ponytail elastic, I'm going to leave um, a little pony bun in there. I'm going to take the pieces of hair and twist them um, and wrap them around do my little hack where I tie the two ends together and um, put it all the way around the bun to make it totally secure. So here that comes. Okay, now we've got her bun secure. You can see the braid that I'm now wrapping around the already super secure bun. Um, I took the tail part of her hair and tucked it underneath the wrap that I have going on there. I'm going to use that same trick that I did on the twisties around her bun to make this secure by putting in the tiny elastic at the end of the tail and then wrapping that elastic around the whole entire bun. I'm just gonna make sure this doesn't fall out of her hair and I can promise you that it didn't because she wore her hair like this to practice. Okay, my bobby pins were in the other room, so I went to grab those. She gave you a nice view of her hair while she was waiting for me. And I'm just taking that tiny piece that I curled under, which you could see when she was sitting there. You couldn't even see that piece, but because we're doing this for gymnastics and we want her hair super secure, I did add a couple bobby pins into a few looser places. Um, and then we just finished off the look with some hairspray to smooth down the sides of her hair and she was ready to rock.